Resistance exercise. Exactly how much resistance exercise, weight training, weight lifting, does it actually take to yield you benefit in regard to the reductions of risk factors or risk of heart attack or stroke? You'll be surprised how little it actually takes. Now keep in mind, we are focusing on one thing and that is the outcome of the study. It does not mean working out longer with regard to risk resistance exercise or weight training doesn't yield you other benefits, nor in regard to aerobic exercise, which basically they also looked at as well, yield you additional benefits as far as mental acuity, so on and so forth. We are looking at the outcome in regard to heart attack or stroke. So please stay focused on that fact. With that in mind, let us proceed as follows. Weightlifting is good for your heart and it doesn't take much, which is an understatement. Lifting weights for less than an hour a week may reduce your risk for a heart attack or stroke by 40 to 70%. To reiterate, less than an hour a week, 40 to 70%. According to a new Iowa State University study, spending more than an hour in a weight room did not yield any additional benefit. Now again, we're focusing on the outcome of heart attack or stroke, so that doesn't mean there is additional benefits for working out longer. To proceed, people may think they need to spend a lot of time lifting weights, but just two sets, quoting, not I, two sets of bench presses may take less than five minutes, that may take less than five minutes, could be effective. Yes, I will repeat, but just two sets of bench presses that take less than five minutes could be effective according to the researchers. The results, some of the first look at resistance exercise in cardiovascular disease show benefits of strength training are independent of running, walking, or other aerobic activity. In other words, you do not have to meet the recommended guidelines for aerobic physical activity to lower your risk, weight, lower your risk. Weight training alone is enough. The study is published in Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise. Remember, this is not my opinion. We are reviewing the study and we are looking at one particular outcome. To repeat, does not mean there's additional benefits to doing it all, a little longer or whatever, but we're just looking at one outcome. To proceed, we're going to look at the abstract real fast to give you a little more in-depth look into how they came up with the figures. All right, so basically what they did is they followed about 12,591 yeah, participants since for 1987 to 2006, between those years, with a mean age of 47. During a mean follow-up of 5.4 and 10.5 years, 205 total CVD events, morbidity and mortality combined, and 276 all caused the deaths occurred respectively, compared with no RE, RE is going to be resistance exercise, AE is going to be aerobic exercise. Compared with no E, no E, no RE, weekly RE frequencies of one, two, or three times or total amount of one to 59 minutes were associated with approximately 40 to 70 percent decreased risk of total cardiovascular uh, disease, we'll say, events, independent of aerobic, aerobic exercise. Even though the figures look like the low amounts, it's tough not to incorporate other confounding factors which are personal, in other terms, publisher bias. So I'm just sticking with the figures, no matter how amazing they sound. These are the figures, that's the results. To conclude with the abstract, even one time or less than one hour a week of RE, resistance exercise independent of AE, aerobic exercise, is associated with reduced risk, ah, apologize, reduced risk of CVD and all-cause mortality, BMI mediates association of RE with total CVD events. Going back to the public release. Now, the researchers also published a few studies in regard to working with the Mayo Clinic, which also yielded additional dimension to the benefits of weight training, which we'll proceed to now. Using the same data set, remember the one going from 1987 to 2006, Lee and his colleagues looked at the relationship between resistance exercise and diabetes, as well as hypercholesterolemia, or high cholesterol. The two studies published in the Mayo Clinic proceedings found resistance exercise lowered the risk for both. Less than an hour, our mind wants to keep on defaulting daily, less than an hour of weekly resistance exercise compared with no resistance exercise was associated with a 29% lower risk of developing metabolic syndrome, which increases the risk of heart disease, stroke, and diabetes, 
or high cholesterol was 32% lower as well. Or I should say the risk of hypercholesterolemia was 32% lower. The results for both studies were also independent of aerobic exercise, focusing just on the outcome itself. So with researchers looking a little bit more depth in regard to resistance exercise, weight training, or weight lifting, what incredible, incredible benefits yielded in such a minimal amount of effort in regard to the resistance exercise or the effort into it and the time incorporated into that exercise itself. Now, it doesn't mean there can't be other confounding factors, looking at basically self-reported information and so on and so forth over the time period. However, still, just the same, it is amazing as far as results of doing something so simple for such a short period of time for such a short, short duration. My New York accent's coming out, I apologize. So with that in mind, if the opportunity exists, resistance exercise looks like a strong plus. You don't have to do a lot of it, just a little committal to talk to your doctor first, whatever, committal. Or commit to basically, what, but he's mentioned as little as five minutes for an entire week can yield tremendous benefits, or I should say less than an hour per week per se. Again, this is Ralph Church Channel, signing off once again. Hope you find this information of use. To me, it's just incredible. The results in regard to just a short duration of time that was yielded in regard to the outcome of this particular study. DUI citation will be listed so you can follow the study to yourself, read it, critique it, whatever you want to do, but it'll all be there for you just the same. Thank you very much for listening. Look forward to seeing you all next week and catch you next time. Bye.